In patch 7.3, LVI is introducing some changes to its feature list, namely the return of nameplate filters feature and the rework of aura filtering in unit frames and nameplates. This video is dedicated on showing you how you can access those options and what you can do with them. So let's start with nameplate filters. The feature was absent since Legion's launch and now it is back and is more complex and shiny than before. You can access it by going to LVR config in nameplate section and selecting style filter. Yes, this feature was renamed and now you will not want to add a name of a mob in this field right here. You may want to add something that actually makes sense that you want this filter to be doing with the nameplate in question. So let's take an example. So as you can see the options for a filter separated into triggers and actions. Triggers are conditions that uh, the filter needs uh, to meet before actions are taken. So let's see what we can do in here. So first is uh, filter priority. The less is the number, the higher the priority. First uh, filter signs executed from 1 to 100. And as you can see in this list, priority is actually listed in the name, so you can always see which filter is less important. Next, is your is this unit your target or not your target, or if you leave those both empty it will apply to any unit you see. Next, name. You can add a list of names of NPCs, uh, monsters or what's not that will be affected by a filter. Uh, pretty much like it worked before, before you added those as a filter in whole. So now it's just a part of a filter. Next is uh, casting. You can add a number of spells and if a unit in question actually starts to cast a spell listed in here, it will take actions listed in here, obviously. You can set it to be only for interruptible spells. If the list is empty at all, it will trigger on any interruptible spell. So combat. Basically self-explanatory, it's either you in or out of combat, or the unit in question in and out of combat. The next is health values. As you can see, you can set it to be filtering units under certain health value or over certain health value. Uh, this is uh, pretty useful for execute moves, like in uh, this case if unit is lower than 20% for warrior execute, it will filter and apply needed actions. So level. Levels can be match player level, um, works uh, pretty much the same as a smart filter tag in uh, unit frame text. So if uh, the level of a unit equals to your own level, it will filter. Current level, if the unit is uh, level specified in here, minimum level, if the unit is uh, this, equally this level as set in here or higher than that, a maximum level, if uh, this level or lower than that. If you set it to minus one, it will work on boss target that, as you all know, don't uh, have a certain set in stone level. Next, uh, buffs and uh, debuffs. I will be going for debuffs since I have one in here. So there is a list of auras uh, on a unit that needs to be present or not present since there is a missing checkbox in here on a target to be affected by this filter. Also you can set a minimum time left or maximum time left. So if, say, a spell is like 8 or 9 seconds left to fade away, it will not be affected by this filter. If 10 or more, it will be. Same for maximum time, just opposite. If 
equal or more than these numbers then it will be affected by a filter. Uh, you can add the uh, spells as IDs or names. Uh, where, um, regardless of the way you add in it, you will need to use the same way to remove it. Uh, for example, if you add a spell by ID, you will need to remove the ID, not spell's name. Also, require all. Uh, this checkbox uh, checks if every single aura in the list is present or not present on the unit, then the filter fires. So next, uh, unit type, pretty much the same as uh, nameplate types, as you can see it's friendly player NPC, enemy player NPC, healers or players himself. Reaction type is pretty much self-explanatory as well, like hated, or unfriendly, or honored, or exalted, sorry. So this is for factions and uh, different NPCs and not for monsters really. So next going to actions. That's what happens when all conditions are met. So you can just, as before, take and hide the frame altogether. So if you want uh, to never see a certain NPC's uh, nameplace, for example, you set it to hide and you don't see those. Next is use portrait. Yes, uh, this time you can see portraits on nameplates as well. Uh, this is a new feature, you can set it to nameplates uh, regardless of the uh, being in the filter or not, the option is in nameplate type, as usual. So next is a scale, you can scale the nameplate if you so desire, for example, if you have a full set of your dots as Affliction Warlock in here, you can just make it be small, tiny small, so you will not uh, see a giant nameplate if you don't need to refresh your dots in there. So next is a house color, border color, name color and the texture of the nameplate itself. So as in this filter, as you probably noticed, if my rent is present on target or on the unit in question really, its nameplate will turn to pink and stays that way until the buff or debuff in this case fades away. Also you can do as for health values for execute for example if my target has less health than 20% it will turn health bar to bright red and scale it up a little bit. So you will not miss the time when you need to hit that particular orc with a sweet sweet execute. So next uh, let's go to aura filtering, cause changes here are not that massive really, at least visually, but you should probably be liking it. So as you can see in uh, filter priority in here, I selected target frame on purpose, cause uh, more filters in here. So you can see filter priority, pretty much the same as for nameplates. The lower the number, the higher the priority, so it goes uh, personal first, then boss, whitelist, blacklist, and raid debuffs. But uh, this time uh, those are not uh, checkboxes with priority set in stone as previously, but a flexible list that you can either remove uh, the filter from here entirely by right clicking it, or change the priority by taking it and dragging it away whenever you want. So if I want to change it uh, like this maybe a little bit, I can do that. Those all are special filters. The special filters are relying, uh, not all, uh, sorry, so whitelist and blacklist are regular filters in this case and uh, red debuffs as well. So uh, special filters like uh, personal for example. Special filters applies um, blocking or not blocking an aura depending on WoW API and uh, simple logic to determine if it should be passed or not. Basically for personal like if a debuff is cast by you or by someone else 
or whatever you want it to be. Also it can be boss aura cast by unit in question for target is by target of course. If a buff is or debuff is dispellable, stealable and what's not, uh, no duration, non-personal, not cast by unit in question as well. So also you can see here uh, the list of enemy or friendly filters. Those are applied to a certain type of unit. So for target, target can be either enemy or a friend to you. So if I say add uh, maybe enemy cast by unit debuff. So if my target is an enemy and it has debuff applied to it by itself, then it will apply and if it is a friendly unit then it will not. So it is quite flexible and you can use it to do really whatever you want with uh, different targets. This also goes for basically boss frames and uh, your focus frame and uh, target target frame and whatever. So regular filters are like blacklist or whitelist or red debuffs, those are old fashioned lists that rely on the list of spells like in here let's say blacklist that's a list of spells you can add or remove from here obviously you can't uh, really remove uh, spells that are in default filter you can just disable them it's default filter anyway so but you can uh, add more to it or you can create your own and add it to the priority and just uh, remove everything here so you can have only your filter. Same goes for minimum and maximum duration as in nameplate filtering but this time for max duration if it is more or less than specified number. So yes those are the changes for filtering in auras. Same goes for buffs obviously but uh, default filtering here are more strict like uh, not showing non-personal and stuff and uh, blocking no duration because uh, you don't want by default uh, seeing like uh, mount buffs and uh, like this event buff for pet battles and stuff yes so that's all for the changes in uh, this update hope you enjoyed the video hope it was uh, helpful if you have any questions uh, feel free to post it in the comments or on our forums as the link is in the description or somewhere near the minimap on my screen so thank you for watching and hope to see you soon again have a nice day